Badger, what best way to learn how to do percentages is based on estimation of the number? Uh, percentages, think about it this way, right? If you want to convert between percentages, fractions, and, and decimals, right? So for example, let's talk about this. Do number, okay, fraction, and percent, okay? So first thing, think of these two dots on the percent symbol as two decimal places, two spaces, right? That the decimal moves. Just keep that in mind. Think about this line, right? As the division symbol and think of percentages as a fraction that's over a hundred, right? So the two dots could be your two zeros in the bottom as well. Okay. Just keep that in mind as we do some of these, right? So let's assume we wanted to represent number one as a percentage, right? Well, one thing you could do is you can convert it to a fraction. One as a fraction is one over one, right? Percentage means divided by 100. You're normalizing percentages. And by the way, the reason we do percentages is because we want to normalize things, right? We want to standardize things so we can do a direct comparison to something else, right? So for example, if I, if I said, hey, 1725 divided by 7345 versus uh, 2566 over 9345, right? So which one's bigger? Which one's smaller? very difficult to do when you're giving fractions right you can convert them to decimals numbers and that way you know which one's bigger which one's smaller or you could talk about it as a percentage right so if this was marks right let's say you're in a school you wrote a test and you got let's say 35 out of 60 and someone else wrote a test and it's a friend of yours and they ended up getting 27 over 50 and then you want to find out which one of you did better right who got a higher percentage right it's very difficult to do with this so you convert it to a decimal and then kick it up to a percent and you'll know who got a higher percent right so it standardizes things it puts things over the same denominator that's what that means standardizing it right so what you would do is have this over 100 and have this over 100 right so let's do it this way here i'll punch in 35 here 35 divided by uh what did i say 60 60 this is pretty crappy mark right this ends up being 0 0.583 0 0.583 and this one is just um to put it 27 divided by 50 it's just multiplied by 2 takes it to 100 so multiply that by 2 so it gives you 54 which is again pretty crappy 54 right so who ended up getting a higher percent Remember when I said, consider this, the two dots as two decimal places, right? So if you want to convert 0 0.583 to a percentage, which is 35 over 60, you want to take it over 100, right? And jump from this. So 100 over 100, this would be 100%, okay? Percent. I'll get back to that. I jumped around a little bit. So this one, if you convert it to a percent, think of this as two decimal places. So all you do, you take this and move it over two decimal places. So, so that's 58.3%. This one, 27 over 50, two ways you can get to the percentage. You can write this as over 100. So you multiply this by 2, 50 by 2 to get to 100. We didn't do this with this one because it's hard. What are you going to multiply 60 by to take you to 100? It's a hard calculation, right? 
But with 50 is easy. Multiply by, by 2, so you multiply the top by 2. So this becomes 54, so that's 54%. Right. Or you do it to a decimal first and then kick it up into a percent. And if you do 50, 20, I'm going to do this because my mind is a little mushy right now. So if you go 27 divided by 50, bing, you get 0 0.54, 0 0.54, and the two dots mean two decimal places, right? So you move it two decimal places, doink, doink, you get 54%, right? And if you want to go from percent the other direction, you move the decimal place in the other way, right? Always keep in mind the percent number, the absolute percent number, has to be bigger than the decimal number, right? So 54%, you move the decimal in the other direction. Okay, so if I had this, let's say you had 12 point, let's say 12%, right? You want to write this as a decimal, right? Well, the two dots mean two decimal places, but in this case, because you're going from percentage to a decimal, you move the decimal in this direction. So you go point, point. So this is 0 0.12. And if you want to convert it to a fraction, all you do is take whatever the number one number was as a percent, you go 12 over 100. Okay. I know it looks, it's pretty messy right now, but uh, I hope that makes sense. Okay, I hope that makes sense. John, so for example, one of the problems I did was 21 over 18. Okay, hold on, let's do this. By the way, if you want further info on this, Badger, uh, post your comment and we'll get back to it. Badger, I think I understand. I think I need a course to understand it better. Uh, possibly, but once you start doing a few of these, uh, Badger, uh, it'll make sense. So for example, here, Badger, while we're on this, here, what would this be? What would 12.5 uh, be as a percentage, right? So we'll skip over the decimal, so that's a number, and then do these ones. So tell me what that would be as a percentage, and tell me what 1.3% would be as a number, okay? Think about these, post them while I read Jalen's uh, question.